All right, it is finally time for us to start a new series, and it is, of course, the Kensington Creative Club. Now, we did episode one of the series five months ago, and at the time, the other series, the Barcelona Career Mode, was doing much better than the Creative Club series that first episode, so we just decided to just do the Barcelona Career Mode. But I did say we'd always, we'd eventually come back to this Kensington Critic Club. And that time is now. You guys have been asking for this series for literally five months. And I am so excited to finally return to it and get it going. Of course, this series is a Critic Club in England. Our team is Kensington, which Kensington is a borough located in London. It's literally right next to Chelsea. So we're not just making a random team. This team has, uh, we're creating a team with kind of a storyline to it. So we're a London-based team in pretty much like a royalty area. And of course, closest team to us is Chelsea. So that is our biggest rival. But basically you think any London London team can be considered our rival, whether it's West Ham, Arsenal, Spurs. But the biggest rival is Chelsea. And we will, of course, explain more along the way. So like I said, Kensington, uh, the nickname, we're going to go with the Saints because that seems like the only one that kind of makes sense. So I wish they had the Royals here because that'd be a perfect nickname. But I think Saints or Blades, I still feel like Saints is a little bit more towards like our, our story. So we're going to go with Saints. So that, that first episode we did, the original first episode, we started in the championship. But this time we did a small vote and we're going to start in League One. So our storyline can be, we started in the National League. Obviously, we got up to the National League. We got promoted to League Two. And then we can say maybe first season in League Two, we got promoted to League One. Kind of like how Bournemouth did a couple like a couple years ago. They went through like English League Two, League One, Championship, then Prem. We can say we did that from League Two to League One, although I'm not sure it's gonna be the same all the way up to the Prem. Now, at the time of recording this, Crew Alexandra are the, the bottom team of League One. So we're gonna replace them in the league. So if you're a Crew Alexandra fan, I'm sorry, but they are erased and we will take their place. Um for this, uh, are there any I don't even I don't even know England geography, so I have no idea if some of these teams are in England or not. I mean, London. All right, apparently Charlton Athletic are in London. So, I mean, they're probably the, the best rival for us in League One. Although, Chelsea, the main rival. But we'll put Charlton Athletic for League One as our rival in the league. All right, so for the kits, I've recreated the same kits, same badge as the original first episode we did. I feel like these kits still look amazing. We're going to have like the sky blue colors. I know it looks like Man City, but we're not the money hungry Man City. That sky blue is like my favorite color. So, I really like the uh the home kit and also the away kit is very nice with the stripe on the socks the all white got a little blue kind of design in there i really like these two kids we're going with puma for the first season but of course we can always try and upgrade to a bit a better sponsor and then of course the classic crest this is probably the best looking crest out of the whole game i think or one of the best for sure my favorite and i think it fits us perfect so that is what we're gonna go with for the first season at least in terms of kits now this series is a commitment in terms of how long it is we're starting league one this is the road to glory i want this to be the full main series on the channel going forward but i gotta make sure it's what you guys want to see because this can this can either be like a main full series like the barcelona one united one villa one or it could be kind of more fast paced like our other ones so if you want this series to be a full series like the barcelona one like the villa one then you can let me know by dropping this video a like and dropping a comment down below saying you want this to be a full series also with the sub button down below we're chasing 50,000 subs so make sure to do that too but that will let me know you guys want to see this series as our new daily full series i just want to make sure it's what you guys want to watch as this is a it's a long-term commitment to do a series like this so of course drop the video a like let me know in the comments you want this to be a full series i'm um, at the sub button down below and if you guys want this to be a full series it will be a full series we'll see how this first episode uh does now in terms of the stadium i kind of feel like everyone chooses town park and i feel like it's a little bit too small like we got to think we're in a we're in a very wealthy area and i like to think that we're a club that's like half owned by let's say the the royals the wealthy people of kensington and then half is a supporter group kind of like the way bundesliga teams do it we're not no man city owned by some billionaire we're not liverpool owned by a group of americans half owned by the wealthy people in the area and half owned by the supporter club group i think in the first episode we chose court lane which honestly probably a good choice i'm thinking that or molten road i feel like molten road really looks like an english stadium now if we have a dream stadium for some point the dream stadium would be east point arena i mean since so fifty three thousand, this is the dream arena in the blueprints for the future of this club this is the dream arena it's gonna take a lot to uh to get there though honestly i really like molten road i really do so we might choose that one this time around now the name for the first first version of the stadium is to be called the royal court there was a really good comment on that first episode talking about the name of the royal court how it has connections to like royalty of the area like it makes sense for this team and then kind of like how liverpool has the cop we can call our main stand where it's just uh the stand with all our fans we can call that the king's court or the king's end something like that but we got to keep this like royalty theme because it really fits the area i also feel like the stadium looks like uh like the east point arena what it could be like renovated to so like i like this stadium to start with now i do kind of like the white trimming on the stadium 
stadium and then the, the of course the sky blue seats i like that pairing like i think i think that looks pretty good and then in terms of the pitch we're not gonna do anything too crazy we want this to look realistic so we're just gonna go probably just checkered large you're not gonna do any colored uh lines because come on it just it just looks ridiculous and then for the for the pitch color we'll do maybe uh, let's do, let's do jungle green, maybe. I'm pretty sure we could change this, so we could probably change that throughout the season. In terms of the net, I wonder if we should do a sky blue net. I mean, we can, we can try it. If it, if it looks terrible, we can always change it, but I kind of like the idea of having a colored net. Although, not many teams have a colored net anymore, huh? I remember Liverpool did at one point. I feel like no teams have colored nets anymore. I wonder if it's a reason, if there's a reason towards that, like, it got outlawed or something, because it, it might be distracting, but I don't know. Okay, wait, that color doesn't really fit, so let, let's just do it. Let's just do the default white. Come on. Hey, let, let's just do the default. And, uh, in terms the goal song can't use this because copyright so but crowd chance i think we used southampton in the first one because of course they have the the saints go marching in i think i feel like it's probably the best one probably the most uh in line with the saints nickname like come on the saints of kensington actually sounds like a cool nickname so we can always probably change this. I, I think we could change this whenever we want or maybe at the start of every season so we'll start with southampton see if we like it or not and of course walkout anthem is also copyrighted so crowd chance southampton that is uh, that's pretty much it for the stadium honestly it looks pretty cool i really like the light the sky blue seats i really like them so that is the royal court those are the kits that is the badge now on to the squad so I think last time we started in the championship and we we did a three-star squad, I think. Look at Addy Emmy at striker. We got an Addy Emmy uh regen or new gen. But honestly, we, we want this series to be like a, a pretty good challenge. So I feel like maybe one and a half star is a good spot to start. Because going through the teams, the, the worst team in the league is was a one and a half star. We can maybe do a one star, but I mean that would be very difficult. But we might be up for that challenge, actually. You know what? We're gonna do one star because, like I said, we're a team that went up to League Two. First season there got promoted and teams that do that kind of you kind of expect them to either go down or finish like mid to low table in the higher up league especially with only one season of development so now for age i remember a comment said uh the ages if you put it on young you still get uh older players like see 31 30 33 oh so it's not exactly a young team I, I think i like young and for the transfer budget we did 10 million last time in the championship i feel like we might go down to 5 million i want us to have some budget because like i said we're in a very wealthy area so i feel like we're kind of backed like i said by 50 percent the elites the wealthy of the area and also the supporter club group so we got some money we're not rich but we're not broke either i feel like 10 million for league two is probably a bit too much i feel like 5 million it still might be a little bit too much but we can work with it like we're not gonna make insane signing we're gonna try to keep this realistic as much as we can so we're gonna do 5 million and then i feel like for the board expectations we're gonna do medium for domestic low for continental financial brand and youth all on medium i don't want us to be a team that like focuses on brand exposure focuses on youth development like too much like i kind of want us to be like a all all around team where we focus on kind of all areas other than continental i mean no league league one team is focused on continental success no team is so i feel like having the rest on medium is a pretty good balanced way to start the series now i was gonna i was gonna regenerate players until we found like a 4-3-3 but this might actually be the best formation because i want players i want like we're gonna use fall before the back formation so i want a team kind of set up in that way and honestly i kind of like the way this team looks right now so i think we might use this team i feel like it's fate i did not regenerate players once this is the team we got when we changed the stars so i feel like it's fate so that is our starting kensington squad we'll take a closer look at it soon but of course ultimate with our tough sliders this will be probably the toughest series yet and honestly i am so excited for that so first transfer window we are going to leave it enabled i do want to make some signings probably with your guys's help so drop a uh, transfer suggestions down below but keep in mind we have a five million budget so we're going to need very cheap players and it might be only a signing or two in the first window now negotiation strictness i'm not sure what is better loose or strict i feel like strict sometimes it doesn't make sense certain players that you would expect to leave their team just don't and then loose it's almost too loose where you, where you could just sign anyone a player goes to a new team you could just sign them up right away i wish there was like a medium because I don't like either of these. But the way we run the series is we we try to be realistic as possible. So I feel like loose is probably the better way to go. But it doesn't mean we're just going to go sign Neymar. We're going to go sign Mbappe. We're not doing that. We hold ourselves accountable on strict negotiation, if you know what I mean. And loose just gives us more options to sign players. So I'm going to do loose. But that is pretty much the setup for the series. I am so excited to finally get this started. So once again, I'll say it again. Drop a like if you want this series to be a full series. But it's EFL League 1. Hands in credit club road to glory. This is going to be so much fun. Look at us. Look at us. Manager of Kensington. Kensington just promoted to League One. 
a lot of expectations and there is the new boy the, the new manager so here we are this this is about to be so good like i love the story of the team i love our backstory i love the, the color i love the badge everything about the series is just so clean except the budget i will say that except the five million budget uh it's even it's gonna be it's even less than that most likely it's gonna be like probably like 3.7 is what we actually have in the budget to give us room to sign players in the wage budget so players you guys suggest i want transfer suggestions but you got to keep that in mind all right so board expectations 50 percent supporter group 50 percent the uh like let's say let's say the the governing board of uh of the owners let's say that so sign for youth players we can do that we're definitely gonna set up a youth academy in this first episode we also have the homegrown talent which i am so excited to see what kind of player we have but we're definitely gonna do that one um they want us to get a streak of seven games with at least one goal that seems that seems pretty doable although on these sliders that we use on ultimate maybe that is not as easy as it sounds finish with at least 4.3 million profit at the end of the first transfer window. Ooh, that that at the first transfer window, that might, that one might be tough but in terms of the league they want us to avoid relegation which is perfect that's so realistic for our story and then fa cup they want us to reach round of 16. we can go we can try to go on a cup run although that round of 16 that's that's a pretty far cup run for a team like us and then within three seasons in the afl league one fight for promotion i like that these are very realistic goals i like them and of course no continental success yet I will say yet. So I say first thing first, uh, we got a one star, one star scout. I mean, if we buy, if we buy a really good scout, it's going to be so much of the budget. I kind of wanted to send this guy out and see what he finds. So we're going to do England. Uh, I mean, we're a small club. The, the small teams can't hire the best scouts. Leo Warner might be a diamond in the rough, uh, very rough. So we're going to send him to England for let's do six months just scouting any. We're looking for all types of players because that is what the board wants. But of course, we do have some players already in the academy and let's see what we got. Uh, I think we might have been blessed by the FIFA gods. Connor Small is already 75 rated as a right mid. Um, we we might have been blessed. 92 pace and 75 dribbling. This dude looks amazing. He looks like a like a dream winger. He's almost too good for League One. He's already 17 too. Oh, this might be with it. I mean, if I had a better homegrown talent than this guy, I don't think I have. I could be wrong. But I don't think I have. And he might go up as a winger. So I am going to make him a right winger before we do anything. Also, yeah, he pretty much looks like Jordan Whitehouse from the Villa series. Pretty much looks exactly like him. Um, As you can see, he looks like his twin. But all right. So, OK, we, we, let's look at the other guys. This guy's from Venezuela. Cam. Uh, a lot of red stats. That's he's not that good. Although we got to remember our team is not that good. So maybe these players could actually play a role. Um, This guy from Romania, 5'7 winger. And he pretty much looks like a winger, just not a very good one. Um, Sean Davis from the United States. We got a US player. That's kind of cool. Um, Left wing, very, very rough in terms of stats. And then Craig Young, he's a center mid slash CDM. And he looks more like a winger. But man, those stats look rough. I would say maybe Montenegro and Small, Connor Small look the best. But this Connor Small guy looks like a beast. Do you guys know how high your homegrown talent could be rated? Because I have no idea. Like, could they be like in the 80s? It's 75, that's pretty high. That's probably the highest I've ever got, I think. So we know we got a right winger. We know that at the very least. And in a one-star team, that uh, that might come in handy. So Reese Morris, 24 goalkeeper. How tall is he? He is 6'2". He doesn't look that bad. He's only 24, too. He's got some room to, for room for growth. Honestly, does not look that bad for a starting keeper. And then we got Ed Day. What a name. Ed Day. What a name. And then Dominic Gardner. Not as good uh dominic we got max moss at left back 23 ian mcintyre at left back what a name we got our own scottish left back like tyranny and robertson although he doesn't he doesn't look the best um we got three center backs even though mcintyre can play center back we got ed neil 29 65 and jack fletcher 24 and 66 we got an older center back 29 and then a younger one this seems like our best pairing probably and then uh liam may as third choice so right back we got another scottish player well we got this is a scottish team we got douglas jack at 31 probably one of the oldest players in this team 63 looks pretty pretty decent can play center back too and then louis arnold 25 from england is a backup cdm uh Teo Lee is the current captain. He's 34. This might be the oldest player in the team. 34 is probably going to start going down soon, but for this season, we're going to try and hold on to at least probably everyone. I want to give these players a chance. And then Michael Hilden looks pretty good. 29 and 67 rated. Um, Arlindo Mendoncia. Is that how you say that? Probably not. I mean, he's, he's a CDM with 45 defending. I'm not sure he's actually a CDM, but I'm not sure what he is, if not a CDM. So I don't know about him. Left mid, Ethan Holt, 30, 36. Okay, this guy's actually the oldest. 36 years old. We got an old man here and he's 55 rated. Okay, and then uh, Christopher McDermott from Ireland, 21, 57. Uh, Albert Andrew, 22 and 58. I guess I should be looking at their stats because I'm trying to look if anyone needs like a new position like this guy might. He's got pace and dribbling and physical. 
he might be more suited to be a winger. Although that might take the longest. I think right wing. It may be a right winger. Um, Lucas, how do you how do you guys how do you pronounce this? Palsen? Is it just Palsen? But Lucas Palsen, one of our best rated players, Cam, 26 years old from Sweden, 63 rated. He doesn't look bad. And then this guy. Andre Green from Jamaica. Shout out uh, Leon Bailey. He looks like actually one of the best players in the team. Andre Green, Cam, and he looks pretty well rounded. He looks definitely like a, a guy that can play on the wing or at Cam. So he looks honestly pretty decent. And then Rory Kendall, 22 from England. We got some uh, we got some decent attackers. Uh, Darren Dugan from 18 or from the Northern Ireland. Darren Dugan, what a name. And then at striker, we got a we got a decent striker here. Tyler Reeves. Of course, we share this, the same first name, but five seven striker from England, five star weak foot, 60. 68 rated for a league one striker i mean the height is the only downside but he actually looks pretty good and then we got carter ford 18 from england 49 rated that is rough and then mason suit and suitin six foot a little bit taller uh he has, does he have some heading ability he's got 49 heading accuracy what are you tall for you're tall for no reason but okay honestly i like i like the squad our defense in terms of rating is very worrying but i feel like we got like a solid foundation of a squad here now a problem is we have so many players on one-year contracts so i kind of want to like tie up the better players on contracts which we'll probably do right now all right so we gave a few wage increases these are the only players i'm gonna leave uh with no contract the, the best player being ed day all the other players are below 60 i feel like we don't have a lot of money i don't think we can spare the cash to renew their contracts but we renewed everyone important and we're also going to put development plans on everyone so that everyone can get some good growth going because man we are going to need it this team ain't looking so hot so honestly us having a uh, homegrown town who's a right winger is pretty much perfect because as you can see we have uh we have ethan holt and we have darren dugan that's pretty much the extent of wide players we have and they don't have any pace so i feel like uh connor small will fit perfectly with this team so let's just let's just get him up here he's 17 he's ready connor small promoted to the first team he becomes our highest rated player probably a bit too high i almost wish he was maybe like 70 but at 17 years old he can really be the future of this team all right so i think the i think the forward through and wide or the narrow actually is probably our best formation we could possibly use and this looks like our best lineup too so reeves kendall at uh left cam andre gunner cam and then connor small at right wing uh lee the old man or the second to last old man and then hilton at cdm mcintyre fletcher neil and jack the, both the uh, the scottish fullbacks this honestly the team doesn't look bad for league one we're probably still a league two side in terms of quality but we got some players here who could probably do some damage which i am excited to try and use all right so this is the starting short list we have obviously we've got to keep in mind we have about three four million in the transfer budget which is not a lot but these are some of the players you guys suggested in that first video and of course the one signing we made in that video full palmer now in that first episode the original first episode we loaned him in i'm pretty sure i would like to do the same because i specifically haven't signed him in any series because i wanted to sign him in this series we're not gonna go crazy in this first window but i feel like we signed him in the first one i feel like it kind of makes sense to go after him again but of course he's got to accept and us being in league one might hurt our chances compared to last time where we were in the championship now i would like a loan to buy just uh just in case we have a amount of money to spend where we can make his signing permanent okay his wages are a bit high though okay what if we can get man city to pay 40 45 55 come on pep what's a few thousand come on pep what's a few thousand how is pep even here why is he here why isn't like a man city representative here i'll do 50 50 eight eight eight, eight and a half thousand per week i'll do that and for the transfer fee oh what is cole palmer's value even i want to try something that's like realistic for next season where we could maybe afford it like 2.2 probably would be enough although i'm not sure if they would accept it we can try it 2.2 future buy clause for palmer 2.9 uh that's doable let's get it down to 2.6 let's do 2.6 that sounds perfect 2.6 buy clause for next season if we choose to activate it all right pep 2.7 uh you guys you got yourself a deal now well palmer of course has to accept this which is the hard part i feel like he might not because we're in league one yeah that that is what i thought uh cole palmer has has turned down the offer to join our club on loan uh, okay maybe we can try buying him let me try that in a week or something although i doubt if he wants to join us on loan he probably doesn't want to join us permanently if you know what i mean yeah it says looks like the player is unwilling to relocate at this time so he might not be a possibility now that we are in league one which i mean man city to league one it might be more realistic but if we go up to the championship at some point he's definitely a target for this series 1000 percent, probably the main target but unless things change uh it might be tough this first season all right connor small to a right wing 
stays out of 75 but he does look like a beast he, he, he's literally too good for this level but i mean what can you do we, we got we lucked out with that i'm wondering if we should loan out any of the younger players but our squad is not that big to begin with so i feel like loaning out players is probably not smart and i don't really think we should sell anyone either so i'm kind of thinking just we make a few signings maybe if they're player we can find players that cheap that also want to join us that might might be the main business we do obviously the league league one starts pretty soon so we might try and play at least two games in this episode maybe so another player who i feel like would give us something that we don't have in terms of a winger with pace because cole palmer we're gonna try to loan him in again although i feel like it's the same thing he's just gonna reject it but linton mina playing at hanover which i'm pretty sure is in the second bundesliga he's cheap he's 22 about 2.7 million kind of like palmer and obviously he's he's got pace which we lack and he's also got some dribbling and some decent finishing i feel like he would be a pretty good signing. Although I think it might be more smart to try and loan him in. Okay, but they don't want to loan him out. Okay, we might try and approach him. The only problem is it'd be a lot of the budget. Pretty much all of it, to be exact. Like, is there anyone we could offer? I really don't think there is. Nah, I mean, there's literally no one to offer. So we'd have to spend this two point whatever, like 2.7 plus a, plus a future sell on clause 10%. Would they accept this? Probably not. They'd probably want a little bit more, but they actually accept that. Okay. That's just all the budget. I kind of wanted your guys feedback before we spend the budget. So I might hold off on this, but for the next episode, this looks like a signing that would help us probably the most more than any other player. As you, as you can see, Kubo or players like Nemecha, if they're in a higher league, they will not go down to a league. Whereas Doyle at Cardiff City is a player who probably want to relocate to us maybe, but Scarlet, player at Spurs does not want to come down just like Palmer so Mina would be he would be a perfect Palmer replacement we got Connor Small on the right wing Mina on the left wing I mean he's got a real face which really helps the only issue is he's injury prone that's the only downside I'm seeing here you know what we might do this because he wants to join us he's willing to go down to league one it's 2.7 million but I feel like our, our other signings might be we might try to make them loan signings and honestly you could you could agree he looks like he's perfect for this team like we have Connor Small and him on the wings that'll add so much pace he's not playing in a top league and we still have a lot of wage left for uh, potential loan signings which obviously at our level loan signings are gonna help us a lot and for he's, he's even taking a wage cut six and a half thousand per week Linton Mina are you going to be the first Kensington signing of this series? Yes, he is. We have a new left wing and we have our first signing of the series. I feel like he's just, he's just so perfect for this team. It's, it's, we couldn't pass it up. So we're of course going to try to make him a left wing 92 pace. We have like, we have like identical players on the wings. It's funny. Plus that 65 finishing, he could play that striker too. All right. So Mina takes uh, the number seven shirt and then Connor Small takes number 20 shirt. Now we got to remember he's a new player in this team. He can't come in and take the number 10 shirt from Andre Green. So we're going to give him 20. But obviously, in the future, he's going to take a much better number than that. For the, for the first season, his first professional season, I think 20 is perfect. But new signing Mina takes the number seven shirt. Now, I am curious about this uh, Cole Palmer loan. Like, second time around, would it potentially go through? I'm honestly not sure. I don't think it will. Yeah, he rejected the loan. So Cole Palmer is not going to happen this season. But Mina is a pretty good replacement for Cole Palmer, at least for the very first season. Although Palmer, still a very, very much so a main target for this series. But Mina into the starting 11 and this pretty much looks like the team we're starting the season with so we got 1.09 left we can raise a little bit we can say we have 1.6 i feel like the our best case scenario for the rest of the window is probably looking at loan signings because we have a lot of wage budget so keep that in mind when you guys drop suggestions down below although any suggestions you make could be signings for potentially future windows too but this is the squad we are starting the season with all right first scouting report we got two guys um 90 000, this guy is 200 000. I'll sign this guy up even though the potent the overall does not look good we'll sign him up yeah we might need to buy a new scout soon because this guy he might not uh might not cut it so joel joel guest uh dribbling in pace that is pretty much it definitely not a striker you know what with that pace he could be a decent winger the shooting and passing are horrendous but for this level though if we need some pace off the bench he might not be that bad so we're gonna we're gonna make him a winger and then mina to a left wing becomes our second player in the 70s yeah i feel like he's gonna be a very very good signing so i kind of feel like we could use another cdm because lee is our, our captain but man he is dropping fast he's already 60. he's gonna be in the 50s soon and in terms of mids the other backup mids are all in the 50s too but we could really use like a midfielder on loan or if we can afford it a permanent one but i feel like on loan is probably the best choice for a midfielder because we do we need some uh backup in that spot like the team is not terrible but you can definitely see that we are missing uh there's a lot of holes although starting 11 wise we don't look terrible and we play the first game of the season right now against cheltenham town are you ready for your first game let's say we put in some hard work that's for sure let's say that and your boys beat the drop this season i think we should avoid relegation i feel like i'm good enough at the game to avoid relegation even with this team 
but I might be eating my words. Later on, we'll find out. And then is Mina ready to make an impact? Oh, he is. He's our second best player. Let's uh, let's say he's got something to prove. And of course, I think this is going to be our toughest series yet by far. We're going to start with the competitive mode off because especially in League One, seeing all these players do skill moves is probably going to be annoying to watch. So we're going to leave it off for now. We're going to try off. But in terms of the sliders, user is all 50 except injury are up and then marking is up that is all 50 for user though and then cpu got error on 45 pass error on five we've we've had it on seven before we're gonna try five though we want this to be a challenge we want this to be an absolute challenge like when we win games we want it to actually feel satisfying like an actual win and then injury slider is the same as user marking is the same as user and then their first touch control was on 25 so much better first touch, a little bit better shooting, and much better passing. At least that's what we hope for. Oh man, I, I am so excited for this first game of the season. First game of League One at home at the Royal Court. And we are going to get our first look at this team. And oh, it is going to be, this is going to be so much fun. Oh, look at the, we got a bus. We can afford a bus. Okay, we're a bit higher than, uh, we're a bit higher in the totem pole than I thought. We got a bus. We should be excited about the bus. Man, this has the potential to be the best series on this channel to date. Like this. The potential for this series is just so big. And we get our first look at the stadium. I feel like the stadium is perfect. It might be, I mean, it's the same capacity as Court Lane, but I, I like that it's a bit smaller, more compact. Like the Court Lane has that big main stand where I feel like they, this one doesn't. I kind of feel like I like the look of it better. But there is Connor Small, the 17-year-old the homegrown talent. And there is the first starting 11 we run out with. Man, this is about to be very interesting on these sliders using a team that's this bad in a league where we are probably the worst team on paper. This is going to be interesting, but first game, create a club, road to glory. We're going to see what we can do. Andre Green, Andre Green, shot, of course. First shot of the series is going to be blocked. Not a surprise there. Now, honestly, I'm not really worried about our, our, de our attack. I'm more worried about the defense because the defense looks like shockingly bad, especially in terms of uh, depth. Mina, oh, we could have got that to uh, Reeves. I got to learn the names of these players. This is like a whole new team who I have no idea who's who, which is also the fun part of uh, create a club. All right, Connor Small. Two Reeves. Reeves. Playing Connor Small. This guy is amazing for this division. And you can already see it. That's 1-0 to Kensington. 11 minutes in the first game. This guy's going to be so good that it might be hard to keep on hold of him. Like, I feel like it's going to become very evident that this guy is a little bit too good for this league. And teams above us are going to come calling for him. But not a surprise at all that he is the one to score the first goal of the series. Not a surprise at all. Okay, defense. Defense. Let me see it. Oh, Morris in goal. What a save. The man is a legend. Look at the blonde ponytail on our keeper. It's just got so much flavor to it. It's got so much style. And then the Scottish fullbacks. This team has got character already. Also, the captain. Oh, that's not the captain. That's Green. That was a pretty good shot from Andre Green. His first name's Andre, right? I think it's Andre. I already forgot. I got to learn these names. But that's an interesting corner. Maybe it actually wasn't that interesting. Lee, the captain, to Fletcher. I believe that's a center back. I believe. But Hilton in to Connor Small. Connor Small. Good ball. Oh, it should have been a much better ball. All right, defense. Defense, hold up. Oh, what is that? Oh, Morris. I thought I cleared that. It was like a pass back. Was that off our head or their head? Was that a pass? Morris in goal. The, bl the blonde ponytail did not work there. Oh, this is poor defending. This is going to be our big challenge this season. It was actually a very good flick on. And off the post, it's not great keeping, but it was a very good flick on from, uh, I don't know who that is, but it was a decent finish. It was, a, it was a tough save. The defending is going to be our, our biggest challenge. As you can see, very evident. All right, Mina, let's get, try to get you going. I feel like you've not gotten the ball that much. That was supposed to go to uh, Fletcher. I think that's his name. Fletcher, our, our number eight. Oh, yeah, all our tactics are unbalanced because I don't know how this team plays yet. So we're just completely straight up all balanced in case uh, anyone's wondering. Defense, 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 defense. Morris. Oh, great save, Morris. Great save. Still very shaky, but great save. Corner sent in, should be cleared. Oh my, that was a bit shaky. Just a little bit, but Morris grabs it in the end. All right, Green. Oh, that's a great ball to Mina. I think it's a great ball. Is it a great ball? Oh, Mina keeps it in beautifully. Mina, Mina. We just ran right into him. And now they are on the break. That's a pretty good shot. Morris, can you please catch that? Come on, that's not that tough of, tough of a shot. It's a little dramatic, making a diving save. That is a long range effort, though, from uh, Cheltenham. And I mean, Morris. I guess it's a good save. Morris is 6'2", but he kind of looks small in the goal right now. I don't know why. He looks a little small. That's a header. Morris. Okay, Morris. He's he's getting warmed up. He's making some saves. He's getting warmed up. Another corner. And that is awkward. It's awkward. Morris. The confidence there. And he's fouled. Still gets up. 
and the ball distribution he is slowly getting into this game okay oh it's hilton fletcher is the center back hilton is our cdm okay we just got absolutely destroyed there yeah i'll take that foul that's a yellow we get a shot on halftime fletcher gets it to green green okay green can really too much there and uh that's probably gonna be the end of the first half one one though not a terrible first half it would be amazing if we would win our first game it would be absolutely amazing so exactly what we're gonna try and do although the defending makes me very nervous we don't really have height in the box to, for crosses but we can always try it honestly that was a that was not a bad cross right there and then fletcher comes up to win that and it's actually a free kick okay i'll take it we're not shooting this though maybe connor small is maybe connor small is oh it's gonna be right into the bodies imagine us score one that, from that far out all right let's go defense let's go boys come on boys lock in lock in oh that's locked in okay that's not locked in uh mcintyre should have won that that's an awkward that's an awkward ball mcintyre just played it right to may mcintyre what is that that's not what i need to see for my left back he tried to clear it. He just gets all he could get on it. It's a weird, it's a weird deflection in the end. It's not McIntyre's fault. It's a weird deflection. The ball came down right at his shin and then right into a Cheltenham striker. Oh, this, this might be a bit more challenging than we even, we even thought to begin with. All right, small. We need, we need our best players to come alive here. Like Reeves and Mina and Green. Oh, Mina, you're offside. Come on, boys. We cannot go down two goals. That's very, okay. We just need to get the ball out. We're messing around the box too much. And that's allowing uh, awkward little bounces to happen. All right, through ball to Reeves. I don't think he was going to beat the defender there. But Small might. Oh, he doesn't have quite he doesn't have quite that through ball in him. Oh, Neil, that's a great challenge. All right, come on. We got we got 20 minutes. We can get a draw here. That'd be very good, McIntyre. Come on, I need I need better from you. Hilton gets it to Connor Small. Reeves doesn't make the best of runs, but Connor Small is going to be a shot and it's going to be it's going to be a corner. All right, let's get on. Let's get on Andrew for Hilton and make him a center mid. Um, let's get on, let's get on Paulson for green. And you know what? We need, we need a six foot striker to be up top. Let's try him up top. Can a little bit of height deliver us a goal here on this corner to tie it up? Corner in. That's actually a great corner. Always. Oh, it, it was great. So just, we can get a clean header on it. All right. Lee El Capitan gets it to Mina. No clear shot. There's going to be a clear shot though soon. Mina. It's a shot. It's going to be blocked. Come on boys. He's offside. He's offside. Thankfully, he's offside because he was about to score. We got nine minutes. Nine minutes. Paulson, he got fresh legs. Get it to our striker. That's a foul. That's a foul. He's going to make a run, though. Oh, he's injured, and he's not going to reach it. Oh, that guy was just brought on. Paulson, he's already hurt. It wasn't a bad idea. That's a great win. That's a great win. Oh, can he win it? Oh, now he's hurt. Everyone's getting hurt. Paulson is being a warrior. He's still hurt, but he's still on. We got four minutes, though. Oh, Connor Small. Connor Small. Oh, he was going to be in. The center back just held him a little bit. And we might be looking at a loss in our first game. We might be looking at it if we can't get the ball here. We got two minutes. It's looking like it's going to be a loss. Man, we had a great start with uh, the Connor Small's goal, but it's just uh, the defending is going to be our biggest downfall. We might need a better center back. I don't know what we might need. I feel like we could probably use a lot in this team, but first game, it's going to be a 2-1 loss. Wasn't the worst. I feel like that game was winnable if we defended a little bit better. But first game at the Royal Court, first game of the Road to Glory Creative Club is going to be a big fat L. All right, I think we might actually end this first episode here. I feel like we've, we've gone, we've set the foundations for this series. So I think this is probably a good spot to end it. Now, I think because we're in League One, if this becomes a full series, we're going to try to do two months per episode. I feel like that's a good pace because there are a lot of games in League One. So I feel like that'd be a good pace to get through the season at a, at a reasonable reasonable pace that is if this becomes a full series which i need to see you guys dropping a like on the video let me know in the comments you want this to be a full series and if you guys want it this will be there is so much potential for this series to be just our best series yet so next one next episode we'll complete the transfer window hopefully look for some loan signings i feel like we could definitely use like some midfielders a center back maybe i don't know maybe not a center back maybe a left back and then everything else will just be for depth because our, our bench as you can see uh this is not like very good we can definitely use some more uh bench players so we will look for that in the next episode so drop a like if you want this to be a full series drop this video a like drop a comment down below um hit the sub button down below as well we are very close to 46,000, and then we're getting closer to 50,000, which is insane i think this series would be so much fun but of course it's got to be something that you guys want to watch so let me know in the comments and i will see you guys in the next video hope you have a great day